First here at five, a 17 year old suspect is now under arrest in connection with the shooting near Tampa's Armature Works that sent four people to the hospital yesterday. Gabriel Katui has since been charged with attempted murder, but the investigation is far from over. Fox 13's Kylie Jones is live at TPD headquarters following the latest developments. Kylie, what more can you tell us? Well, Haley, police tell us that that teen was identified through the help of witness testimony and that surveillance video captures him allegedly shooting in the direction of two people in that area near Armature Works. Police are now still searching for another person of interest. Less than 24 hours after a shooting that sent multiple innocent victims to the hospital, police have arrested and charged a 17-year-old. This is completely unacceptable. This is a family environment. Tampa police say it all started when two groups of boys between 13 and 17 years old got in an argument near Stone's Throw Restaurant. Police say that quickly turned into gunfire. This is not a targeted incident. This is a disturbance that quickly erupted unnecessarily into gunfire in a family environment. This should not been, have been brought into a, uh, a family-oriented place. They could have done it somewhere else. Based on evidence, police say someone from each group fired shots and innocent victims were hit by the bullets. Police say two women were shot, one in the arm, another in the ankle. A third woman was grazed by a bullet. Police say these are non-life-threatening injuries. This is very unfortunate that something like this would happen, especially in a family-oriented. Could have been a small kid that could have been hurt in this. Police are still looking for another person of interest in the case. On Wednesday, Armature Works shared a message on social media saying, quote, We want to reassure you that yesterday's incident was isolated in nature. Your safety remains our utmost priority. And the state attorney says that 17-year-old suspect does have a prior juvenile criminal history. She says her office plans to charge him as an adult. Police are still working to confirm whether those guns used were stolen. If you know anything about this incident or have photos or videos, you're asked to contact police. Kylie Jones reporting tonight in Tampa. Kylie, thank you.